Hello, I'm Matt, and welcome back to Workshop. A few months ago, I gave you my thoughts on this bandsaw. I thought I'd do a little follow-up and show you some improvements. But first thing, we're gonna fit a new fence to it. So, let's get started. The fence that comes with the machine works okay. It locks front and back, and to get the tension right, you spin the handle. So I either find it's too loose or too tight. It's not a huge problem, and I can live with it. But this new fence costs something like 14 pounds from Axminster, so I thought it's worth a go to see if it improves things. So here you can see the old guard rail, the old fence, the new rail and the new fence. Very handily, the new and the old guard rails are the same length. So I can use the old rail as a template to draw out where the slots are going to need to be drilled in the new one. It has slots, so when you need to change the blade, you can just loosen the nut slightly and the rail will come out. For the new rail, first I'm going to drill some pilot holes and then go back with a larger bit to get the diameter I want. The rail is made from aluminium, so it's pretty easy to cut down to the holes I've drilled to make the slots. If I'd been a bit more clever, I'd have put the finer tooth blade in the bandsaw and used that. When I test fitted these star knobs, you can see they just catch on the bottom of the rail. In the kit were these little plates, so I'm just going to use them as a spacer, and that stops it interfering with the bottom of the rail. I'm not sure what these plates were designed for, as the fence came with no instructions whatsoever. And I guess it can't, because every bandsaw you're going to fit it to is going to be different. But it's pretty straightforward what you need to do. With the rail fitted, the little bolt can go back in that keeps the tables parallel. The fence just slides into place and there's a little cam lever lock on it. It slides really nicely, locks into place very firmly, is easy to take on and off, and was actually square on my initial setup. It's a small improvement, but it makes the machine just that little bit better. The fence comes supplied with this tape that fits into a groove on the rail. I prefer just using a hand tape measure, so I'm not gonna fit it for now. Right, that's the new fence fitted. After my last video, I had a comment saying check the motor to see if it moved at all with this locking nut as it can mean the belt can slip. So I tightened it up and made sure the belt was nice and tight. The other thing I had was lots of comments saying get a new blade. I did have quite an aggressive 40 per inch aftermarket blade on it, but maybe it had been on there a bit too long, so I took everyone's advice and got a new one. I went for a tough saws, 3 eighths of an inch, 3 TPI sabre cut blade. When filming this, this blade had been on the saw for a couple of months now. And as you can see, it is having no problem doing a nice cut on some 4 inch oak. So I think my conclusion last time was that I was pretty damn happy with this saw. But now with a new fence, a new blade, which has made a huge difference. I mean, I had an aftermarket blade before, but I think it had been on there too long and got a bit blunt. And uh, a few other tweaks. It's a great machine. I mean, it cut through this four inch piece of oak with really no problem at all. So, yeah, it's, uh, this machine's only getting better, better for me. So, thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.